It was difficult, but I managed to get the rail car. The mutants were all over the Tsarfish temple. Looks like the locals offered human sacrifices to the Tsarfish here. Terrible. I'm glad I won't have to come back here. Anyway, now that I have the real car, it's time to get that carriage. And he won't leave this place, no matter what. I can't just leave the dummy here. Do you even know what that movie is, son? Have you heard about the... Enough pointing that gun of yours at me. Just put it away and...
Our old home is here. <laughs> That's amazing. Uncle Arturo. I knew you had great potential. Daddy? Even back then at the gym. Daddy, are you really back? You're my hero, Teddy. Mom, Teddy's back. What do you have to say? Oh, thank you, Uncle Artem. Thank you so much. Artem, come up here. I have something to talk to you about. Thank you, Artem. Hello, Artem. I don't even know how to thank you. Спасибо. You're back. You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up and... And... I pray to God it works out. Hmm. <clears throat> I can't give you or Duke any direct support. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. Yep, one more thing, Artyom. Yeah, look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Now, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, who knows what will happen? Huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model, and as such should remember that you are special forces, not tank jocks. Good luck, Artyom. Welcome back, Ranger. So, are you ready for that final push? Oh, where did you get this? God damn, this is cool. Thank you, man. You just blew my mind. Uh, the team took the long way around to the port. But you could get there faster. There's a boat there. Or you could just take a zip line from the bandit tower. Well, Artyom, break a leg. Good luck to you. In the port and on the bridge, too.
do with this one smooth operator. Got... <laughs> Artyom, I see you. Come up here on the crane. You made it. I was worried sick while you were running around in that terminal. Yermak said you brought the sleeper carriage. You are simply the best. Sorry I'm talking so much, but I missed you. Okay, okay, back to business. <clears throat> Damned cough. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. 
So, they have more guards than we anticipated. It seems risky, but Crest says such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if we capture him, the others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke, Duke is to the is left, to the of, left the of the hangar. Come in. Come in. Duke in position, ready to pick the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... Uh, this seems to be the best part for Boy Delty. Well, Artyom, we are all set. All set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. Alright, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Perhaps we should wait for dusk. It might be easier then. Some of the guards might fall asleep. Rest here in the cabin in the meantime. Off. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So they have, have more, more guards, guards than, than we anticipated. anticipated. It, it seems risky, risky but Crest says, says such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if we capture him, the others, others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to take the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... Uh, this seems to be the best part for Boy Delty. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah. It's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Perhaps we should wait for dusk. It might be easier then. Some of the guards might... ...might fall. Open fire! Spot it! Off. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. <laughs> so, they have, have more guards than, than we anticipated. anticipated. It seems risky, but Crest says such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if, so we, if capture we capture him, him the others will They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke, Duke is to the left, to the left of, the of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to take the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so... Uh, this seems to be the best part for Boy Delty. Well, well Artyom. They're all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly. So let's make this one the same. Yeah, yeah. it's no it's fun beating up immature soldiers, soldiers like them. them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Perhaps we should wait for dusk. It might be easier then. Some of the guards might fall asleep. You could rest here in the... Off. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So, they have more guards, guards than, than we anticipated. anticipated. It, it seems risky, risky but Crest says, says such caravans are usually commanded by a captain. So if we capture him, the others will surrender. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. 
Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position. Ready to take the guard off. His yacht is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. <laughs> Something, so... This seems to be the best spot for quiet entry. Well, Artyom, we are all set. Look, you should rest you up there till nightfall. The I'll wait for so you down here. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. <laughs> all right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Perhaps we should wait for dusk. It might be easier then. Some of the guards might fall asleep. <laughs> Rest here in the cabin in the meantime. Off. I guess I spent too much time in that dump. So, they have more guards than we anticipated. It seems, it seems risky, risky, but, but Crest says, says such caravans are usually commanded by a kid. They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, and three at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to take the guard off. His yacht is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Is it repairing something, so... This seems to be the best spot for Puentes. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah. No fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Perhaps we should wait for dusk. It might be easier then. Some of the guards might fall asleep. just makes my skin crawl. <sighs> so, what is there in Africa? Damn, what I just marked it for smoke right city now. is, you know, gone. The the piers are still there, so once the river got cleaner, they started trading there. I was there too. Help decontaminate the piers. I have a market there. <laughs> Where else? It used to be a big city. Great place for a market. It's just that the game is to go like this. So I still have a lot of Alright then, 
How are we going? Ah, yeah, yeah. Sure thing. Let's keep an eye out. <laughs> Don't you worry! As if anyone is going to attack. There's a float between the barges. Climb overboard. Always the most boring detail possible. Well, at least I'm not getting shot at. If things continue going the way they are, our weapon locks are going to be rusted shut in no time.
this time. Shoot. Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! <laughs> Great job, Artur! So, you guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not, we have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, way anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer.
Artyomich, Duke, they're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine. Блять, closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Hey, you are sure? Catch the line! So, Artyom, shall we move? Whoever gets there first wins. Break a leg. Artyom, Duke, the Aurora is quietly moving into position. We'll be ready to act on your signal. Roger that. We're on it. We're on it. It's like you missed the morning service. Well, I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight demons for that. Oh, but it's so early. Just tell me what you said. Uh, all right. Uh, a heretic actually arrived right at the server. I to rush over to save the old part. And the heretic they say he wouldn't have to reduce her endstone. He also couldn't hide the unarmed folk that just wouldn't do it. He hasn't lost the last of his humanity, that heretic. You see, this sign means back. Back? But you and Kirill now to eradicate all the demons. You don't just come back at the back of the car. Well, ask anyone. He got captured by heathens, but a heretic, one of the new ones, freed them. Ah, old Simon just got cold feet, that's all. All the stories people tell not to go. No, he did not. He came back and a huge fuss at the church and got his way too. Now we will be praying for that heretic is in the Simon. You got that? Everyone is looking for a better life. Thank God. Which is where? It would please God, though. Where? That's Simon. Where what we next? are not. Then he just made the sign of the cross, kissed the altar, and went back to the demons. It's not what I meant. Yes. Oh, what about Kirill? He's the one who's going to well, do the praying. Father Celentius himself might be sickly. What's the point of explaining it to you? God you save your sight. Your... <laughs> when the heretics might be here already. Don't you worry. And the breath of evil, and from its temptation, and save our souls the way you saved our lives to serve your will and confirm your power here on earth again, just as you have confirmed it in heaven, and give us strength to triumph over Satan's minions and punish us. Brothers, did you see that?
expanses of Russia stretched before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world and it's not up to us to destroy it. No matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. 
since so far we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. This is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. Maybe they never came here, or they are already gone. Though, where to? Remember? Neither Katya nor Crest have ever met them. Though, we seem to be doing just fine even without them. It's like Middle Ages. That Salantius is treating people like slaves, getting them killed. I can't believe they had it worse, without his lies, nonsense, and human sacrifices. And us? We had been living down there for so many years, fighting each other, and nobody even thought you could live outside. Stay here for a bit, Artyom.
This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home for one, a place where we could live, a log cabin on the outskirts of a forest, or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this, together, through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland, especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years. And they haven't. So what? These are not the same people who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They're just like us in Metro, only even more dejected. They are, essentially, slaves. For real. They work all day and pray all night. Always watched, always directed. Everything is under control. Everything is decided by the community. Well, I mean, Salantius. They don't even have any property. Even their socks belong to the community. They're just entranced with him, with his ridiculous lies about electricity. Of course, not everyone got fooled easily, but if they dare ask questions, they get penance, exercising an electric demon with prayer and the cross. But that's a death sentence. How is a flashlight dangerous? Or a radio? But no, they shun it all. They hide and keep praying. How can you even make people believe this ridiculous garbage within just a few years? People in general start believing lies surprisingly easily, don't they? As long as those lies are convenient or at least familiar, Take us, in Metro. All right, we haven't met the occupying forces yet. If we disregard that shirt I found on an antenna... <coughs> Katya and Crest never met them either. But maybe they are still out there somewhere. And if they are, then they didn't even tell us about them back home. They didn't tell us that the war was still on. They just made us believe that there's no life anywhere outside of Metro. They've been lying to us. Lying non-stop. All this time. Were their intentions good? Perhaps. But the Metro is a castle built on lies. Damn, am I angry. And so far, no matter how far we get, we haven't met a single enemy. Isn't that strange? But father won't have a word of it. Stay vigilant, be careful, the enemy never sleeps. You know, I love my father. A whole lot, no matter what. But what if everything he's been told is just another layer of lies? I hope we'll find out how deep this rabbit hole is, once we get to Yamantau. <sighs> well... What do you know? I do feel better now, after telling you. Thanks for hearing me out, Artyom. Let's just sit here a little. Alright, run along. Dad wanted something.
Artyom. Seem a new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Now, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen, so thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. It's high time we fix our new Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. Told her he left for the market. Around three days passed, and I still can't. Stop today. it already! <laughs> hey, Artyom, well, the colonel's waiting expect? for you on the bridge. <laughs> So, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was mad. Ah, uh, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom milling about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> that he did, uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You asked me about the vest yourselves. All right, go on. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and let down. There was that shed down there. The roof was uh, kind of close. Uh, 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 and what about the Tsar? Oh, Oh, Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore. Oh, a smoke break! That's good. Or else his toes will be in danger. This is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> 
Well, you are the right kind of guys. I mean, you, the colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. Regardless, I am doing this now. I cried and cried. But there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. smooth sailing from here and right to the very destination it's not even that far but our speed depends we are approaching the yamantau bunker the final destination of our long journey direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives he is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. 
Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. Aurora back to the safe zone. Sit tight there. We do that right now. Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. So oh, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. Colonel. With the train. 
It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Sir, yes, sir. What are the maintenance people thinking, I wonder? Yeah, this place could use some cleaning, at the very least. Sam, idiot. You know what? There's no need for us all to crowd the government, so you two better stay with Crest. Nothing. <laughs> 